things are going to slow down a little bit now because we won't be giving out so much information about events, but we do want to talk about evangelization and ministry at the parish level. And whenever we're at an event like this, we uh, sometimes focus on a particular parish, but the ministries that are happening at one parish are often replicated at other parishes. So it is kind of a universal conversation. And uh, I have in, in, in studio, uh, in office with me now, Joshua Bidding. He is Director of Evangelization at Good Shepherd Catholic Community in Colleyville and uh, just moved here from Wichita, Kansas. Uh, how long have you been in town, Joshua? About four months. Oh, okay. How do you like North Texas so we far? We love it. We yeah. love it. It's, it feels like home. Yeah, I know uh, Wichita is a big, uh, a lot going on Catholic-wise in Kansas as well, but uh, this is a hop in Catholic area, so welcome, and we're glad you're here. Thank you. Good to be with you. I uh, want to learn more about your background and also your work at Good Shepherd uh, Community in Colleyville, and also uh, joining me is uh, Sean McGowey, um, uh, Sean McGowey, Stewardship Council Chairman at Good Shepherd uh, Parish in Colleyville, and also works here as a loan officer at My Mutual Mortgage, and this is how Sean sounds. Hey, good to be with you. Good to be with you as well. Thanks for uh, for being here, and also Keith Taylor. Uh, well, I guess you'd be here anyways. Cause you are, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being in our office. I'm the one that's kind of invading your space. This right? is just a normal day in my yeah, right. here. Right? <laughs> got, got people coming here doing live broadcasts. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Pretty much on a daily basis. Yeah. Uh, Keith Taylor uh, joins us as well. Stephen Ministry Lead at Good Shepherd Parish, and also a loan officer of My Mutual Mortgage. Keith, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good to see you again, Dave. Thanks. It's awesome that not only are these uh, well. Two out of the three are actually employees here, uh, or family members, I guess you could say, at my mutual, but also directly involved in the parish. And I think it uh, it says a lot about the the organization that uh, you guys are, are taking such leads at your parish. Fine, Keith Taylor, Stephen Ministry Lead at Good Shepherd Parish in Colleyville, also a loan officer at my my mutual mortgage. Say that ten times, huh? Um, <laughs> another way of being all in is giving of our time and helping people in need. So uh, many people are probably familiar with Stephen Ministries, but uh, what what exactly is that and how is it uh, carried out at the parish? Well, first of all, I'm also a convert. Oh, are you? So okay. I, I bring a different perspective to, yeah. to the Catholicism. And uh, Stephen Ministry is a non-denominational group. It was started by a Lutheran minister. Uh, there are several hundred uh, countries now that have Stephen ministers. We don't try to fix anyone. We don't try to cure anyone. We are caregivers. God is the cure giver. We just uh, devote uh, our time to walking the path that the person in pain uh, is traveling. So if they need a companion, we agree to be with them. We try to be with them for an hour a week. Uh, if they need more, we give more. If they need less, then that is okay also. So it is a, a ministry that I became involved in after attending a Christ Renews His Parish retreat. I came out of that as a lot of people at our parish have looking for another ministry to become involved in and I saw an advertisement in the bulletin and went to an orientation meeting and then attended 50 hours of training and all of a sudden I'm a Stephen minister and then a couple of years later I attended a week's training uh, and now I'm a Stephen leader. Mm. So we're kind of out of sight and out of mind at our church uh, but we're there for people that need us. We do uh, have ads in the bulletins occasionally and ads on our screen at church but other than that you don't really see too much of us until someone needs us yeah what are the you know sometimes we hear about uh, the flooding in south texas the horrible tragedy in las vegas and we want to help we want to help people in all parts of the world and that's a wonderful thing to do but sometimes we forget that uh, somebody uh uh, you know, a half a mile away, maybe really suffering. And there's people in our local community that really need help, uh, in addition to all these other great causes that we can help out. And that's kind of the purpose of Stephen Ministries, is help people within the parish community that need help, right? That is correct. Uh, we're with people that are grieving from any number of reasons. It could be loss of a job, stress of a move, uh, loss of a spouse or another loved one, or just any kind of stressful situation at work that they're having a difficult time dealing with by themselves. And our priests can only devote an, a, a finite amount of time to our par or to our parishioners. So if they need more than what the, the priests can give them in a brief visit, then we're there to walk with them for as long as they need us. We've had care receivers that have stayed with a Stephen minister for over two years. Mm -hmm. So we're there for whatever length of time that you need us for whatever your problem might be. And we always try to remember that 
your problem might seem minor to us, but if you came to us, it's major to you. Exactly, yeah. So, Keith, thanks for what you're doing. And I know a lot of parishes have Stephen Ministry uh, uh, groups. Uh, I talked to somebody in Frisco the other day who, who had it there. My mom is involved in Plano. And so if you don't have one, I guess they could you could talk to your pastor about starting one. And it's a great uh, way to build up the parish as well. Uh, Keith Taylor, Stephen Ministry lead, a good shepherd uh, community in Colleyville.